All right, so now what I want to do, did you bring your uh, calculator? I did, yep. Okay, great. So you're also looking at a little bit of trig, and so we, we can evaluate, leave, leave it for a second. Um, well, I don't really have any angles in the zero dimensional case. Why, yeah. why not? Well, we you need points to make an angle. <laughs> okay, well, in the one dimensional case, I, I do have two points. We one just have flat angles. So one degree degrees. Or zero degree. Yeah, it's I not. You could consider it as maybe zero or 360. Yeah, it's not, not totally clear mm -hmm. what, what, if it should be zero or what, whatever. It's okay. not much of an angle there. but. In the two-dimensional case, I, I do have an angle um, uh, across the main diagonal of the okay. cube here. And, and what is this angle? Well, it's a 45 degree angle. Okay. So then I saw so it's right triangle. 45 degrees because you're saying I have this one, one, and then I saw this right triangle. That's a nice way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. How else could we see this was a 45 degree angle? Well. Um, you could, if you wanted, you could use some trig and you could, if you knew, if you recognize that this was square root of two. Okay. You could say sine of this angle is root two over two. Okay. And then you know the angle is forty-five degrees. Yeah, or we could say tangent of that angle was one. Mm -hmm. One. Okay, so. So in the two-dimensional case, we see a 45 degree angle. All right. The three-dimensional case is actually kind of interesting. We're, tr we're, trying to measure, we're trying to measure this angle, the angle of elevation going up mm -hmm. yeah. from the base all, all the way over here to 1, 1, 1. Okay. So, so what, what are we going to do there? Why don't you we know this side length here. We know this is one. And from our last example, we know this is root two. Okay. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out that this is three. All right. Um, then we can use trig. I guess you could say tan of that. This is again one over root two. All right. So it's root two over. I'm going to run over root 2. Okay, so why don't you do that on your calculator? So tan of the angle is 1 over root 2. So then it would be 1. Or root 2 over 2, whatever you want. Alright, and then it says this angle is about 35.26 degrees. Okay. Do you see a different way to calculate what this angle is? Any math that you know? Um, you could you could use the dot product here. Okay. What are my two vectors? So that's the color, the green line and the yellow line. Yeah, yellow so, is what vector? Um, one one one, I one guess, one. and then the green is one one zero. One one zero. So the dot product of the two vectors would be their respective magnitudes times the angle between them. So that magnitude a, magnitude b times cosine of the angle between them. Okay, good. So, um, so. So the dot product here is 2 equals magnitude. So of this, this is root 3. Root 3 times, times root, root two. 2 times cosine theta. So we could solve for that as well. It's kind of complicated and doesn't really need to be that complicated because you can solve for cosine in a different way if you wanted, but it yeah. also works. It could, it, this sh hopefully, it should work. Yeah. Um, it, gets, it says cosine of theta is. Um, 2 over root 6, mm -hmm. right, which is, if, if I could make it, I could bring the root 6 up to the top, root 6 over 3. Um, yeah. But we also see that it's root 2 over root 3. 
and then you multiply that by root of 3 and you get the same thing. Yeah. Okay, good. Alright, so now for the last thing we're going to measure the long angle and the hypercube. Okay.